interesting. Plotting the way through, dancing on ice is a bit like a game of chess. You've got to make sure your pieces are lined up properly. But this pair of gangsters know what they want and they know how to get it. Former Strictly Star James is a fan of the syncopated Paso step sequence. And hats off to them, almost literally on the headstand lift. The judges challenge step sequence for these two involves Sinead turns and twizzles. James and Alexandra want to be more than just pawns in this game, but did they play a cheeky blinder? Jason. Nine. Ashley. Nine. Jane. Nine. Chris. Nine. It's a monster. 36 out of 40. Never would you have imagined that a 36 would have got booze. You know what? I. I know why they've marked me down. I didn't say anything, because Alex said to me when she off, she said, did you do the double? And I was like, just don't say anything. Maybe they didn't see it. <laughs> but I put my foot down in the middle, I bottled it. Yeah. So oh. massive hats off to Wes, because he absolutely smashed it. I didn't even one. notice that. It's been, yeah, I did. It's been bothering you, hasn't it? Massively. To the, point, to the point where I said yesterday, I said, I'm taking it out, because it's so difficult. Um, and I said, I just want to do a single one and not stress about the routine. I tried to do the double. You I tried. I, I did counts. try. You try. did try. I was going to fall over, tap my foot down. <laughs> um, oh. But yeah, I tried. I tried. That's all you can uh, do, That's right? all we can ask. I think it was brilliant. Ashley, let's come to you. James, do you, you know what this could have been, don't you? It could have been even higher. But let's not focus on the negatives. I want to just focus on the positives. We said, break the mould, try something new. You know, don't be safe. You went away and in one week you did it. That was so intense. It, was, it pushed you out of your comfort zone. And the difference it makes when you choreograph to the music is, oh. so, it is so important. So thank you for always bringing the dance to the skating. Thank you, Jane. Thank you. Well, you can see that we all gave you high marks and you know what it could have been because we all took it off for the same thing. Yeah. But that was an absolutely brilliant performance and I thank love you. that you've been pushing yourself, so keep doing it. Chris. Thank you so much. It was a Peaky Blinder performance, that's for sure. <laughs> Um, what I loved was the um, crucifix lift, the upside down lift. It takes great skill and strength to go, get her in position, balance it out, and bring her down smoothly to the yeah. ice. And trust. Yeah. So, trust. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Thank you. Jason. You know, James, we are at that point in the competition now where we are s literally splitting hairs on our critique, and you know exactly why you didn't get the same marks or higher than Wes. It's because you bottled it. Yeah. And, and the problem is, if you're going to do that from here on in, it's going to hold you back from getting the scores that you really deserve because your musicality, the choreography, the intricacy of what you do with the footwork sets you apart from everybody else in this competition. Thank you. Oh, it is scary when it goes wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So scary when it goes wrong.